In a previous video, we covered how to load an Autolisp file and inform AutoCAD LT where it's safe to load Autolisp files from. Let's take a look at the basics of Autolisp statements and entering them at the command prompt to create your own programs or modify those you find online. Autolisp statements start with an open parenthesis and end with a matching closing parenthesis. After the open parenthesis is the Autolisp function, followed by parameters that represent the values the function accepts. The setVar function is one of the commonly used Autolisp functions. This function is used to change the value of a system variable. In this example, the value of the ortho mode system variable is being changed to a value of 1. Before I press enter, notice the ortho mode button on the status bar is disabled. After I press enter to run the autolisp statement, notice the ortho mode button on the status bar is now enabled. Along with the setVar function that allows you to change the value of a system variable, the getVar function can be used to get the current value of a system variable. Command is another commonly used autolisp function. This function is used to automate a standard command that you normally use from the ribbon or command prompt. Here are two examples of using the command function. The first is used to draw a circle. This second example zooms to the extents of the objects in the drawing area. In this example, the circle fills the entire drawing area. Executing Autolisp statements one at a time at the command prompt is a great way to learn the basics of Autolisp.